doing? This is V, Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going today? Mine has improved from the last time I spoke to you. Um, what are you up to? Let me know down below. Comments, fire away with the comments. Um, yeah, had an um, interesting time over the last couple of days. I, um, for all the comments that I haven't responded to, I have now responded to all comments on my channel without even talking to them. Now, that's something I do like to do is actually talk to the comments. Um, but uh, with the fact that I wasn't doing the short whip and chats, it just made it too hard. So I've just responded to um, everybody and um, yeah, it was actually because uh, I suppose one of the things is that the, previously I'd recorded a whip and chat chat talking to these uh, comments and that whip and chat didn't come out because it didn't record properly. So, mm. okay. So now from here, where do we go? Computer wise, little update. The motherboard has died. I received a message from uh, the techies saying a work or a service order had been done and that stuff had been ordered. Me not knowing what stuff was, <laughs> I rung them up and I said, "Oh, well, what's this? That's you've ordered some parts or ordered parts for my computer." And the guy said, "Oh, yeah, hang on." So he looked it all up and he said, "Yeah, there's a work order in place for your computer to get it repaired." In the process of looking at fix and fixing it, we've had to order a new motherboard because the other one was faulty. So that's why you get the service order um, as well as the purchase or as well as the work order. Yeah, okay. And I just confirmed with him with the fact of you know I only got this at this date. This still under this i'm not paying for any of this this is all under warranty yep this is all under warranty so uh so that was yesterday afternoon it is now eight o'clock on wednesday and i haven't heard from him so i haven't spoken to him for more than 24 hours uh <laughs> yep <laughs> i've been good normally i'm well I, I will admit that i am very impatient and i want it but I'm working around not having it, obviously, because I'm using my phone. Um, Mindy, nothing wrong with you. I will admit there's nothing wrong with using the phone. But when you are used to using um, video cameras where normally I can work and I can look up and straight ahead is my computer monitor and I can see what I'm recording. Um, and I can know I can work with staying within the square, within the area. Uh, it, it's it's easier than the phone in that way. I, I also find that when I'm doing some work, I'll have resin working on my desk that way and doing diamond painting here and the stuff on the resin which is sitting there. I've just got it under the one camera and I don't want to move it. So whereas with the uh, phone, I have to move it. Um, I will admit I did get a holder. This is now on a um, boom stand my all my video cameras are on different types of stands um, my favorite stand i've gotten an adapter so that my mobile phone can sit on it so yeah um what else is going on i had fun today and yesterday so yesterday i sat back not yesterday yeah yesterday at some stage yesterday i thought well i'm just gonna play with some polymer and see how we go and I didn't record it found it a little bit easier to work with being the second time and I will say hopefully you can see this hang on I've got to get the right angle so I did I did the snow queen yesterday uh, did full polymer inside and then I did UV resin on the back and the front, which is giving you that gloss and it seals it fully. Not bad for a first attempt for that one. Now, if we remember the attempt on Ursula, which Ursula ended up in here. <laughs> oh, and I actually think that's a blue drill, not a blue part of her eye. Um, I, today, I did film it. I did Ursula. How much better does that look? 
So I actually filmed that process, so I'm going to put it together uh, and you'll be able to see that one and how I did it. Uh, she's still not fully set, but fully polymer with the exception of the front being a clear UV resin and the back being a black tinted UV resin. So uh, as a keychain, she go pretty cool. But she looks, this is where the struggle is with the lighting. Hang on. Can you see her now? There we go. Looks a bit better. <laughs> so I, um, tonight's job will be editing and putting that together. Uh, looking at doing that as a voiceover. Okay. Now let's go back to diamond painting. But I thought I'd share that with you so you know that I've played with that. Um, uh, yeah, and managed to record it on my phone and, yeah, mm, fun. I think there might be a few times where you see me out of frame. <laughs> but it was working. I was working directly on top of my uh, desk. Gee, it's nice to work on like that. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? So, now yeah, one of the things I was doing, I mentioned on my last whip and chat, was subscription boxes. What I've done, I have, uh, I think when I did the recording, I mentioned that I had ordered the Japanese stationery box. Uh, that one I couldn't do for a, a set time, so that's a monthly reoccurring. I did uh, order the Smart Arts and Sass, but I did a three month subscription. So that'll give me three boxes, three months to unbox. These, that Smart Arts and Sass is actually going to ship from the US apparently. Um, the Japanese stationery will be coming from Japan. And in that process, because when you're Googling and seeing stuff on YouTube and Google and all of that, you get ideas. So what I've done is because now that I've actually hit the thousand gem mark, I thought, I think I might need to start planning properly because at the moment everything is just, eh, I'll just throw in this. This is what I'm doing. I'll throw this in. I might, um, so you might find that I'm not always you find that at one stage I'll go doing just resin and then another stage I'll just do diamond painting or whatever. So what I want to do is try and plan this out properly. So whereby you get, um, you'll get something resin and then you'll get something diamond painting on the channel or you'll get uh, and possibly one unboxing. Uh, so maybe a resin, a diamond painting and an unboxing or you know maybe a polymer clay an unboxing and some resin or mix it around but i am useless at planning so what i've gone in and googled and looked at was planners so pinky stickers now i she hasn't posted for a, a more than a month but i've watched her with her planning and it absolutely fascinates me because, yeah, just the process, just the process. And it's uh, almost like organising your drills, getting your kits organised, getting everything organised. It's really organising stuff. So I've ordered the Erin Condon Life Planner. Um, and uh, and so that when that arrives, I will share it with you. But you know, because I'm not doing enough, <laughs> um, what I'm looking at doing is actually, and I don't know whether I'll make it a, a public thing or not. Um, what I'm looking at doing is I will unbox a planner on this channel, but I'll do the same unboxing. I'll put the same unboxing onto a different YouTube channel. I'm looking at, because, you know, one channel is not enough. <laughs> but this one is just purely um, what I'm looking at doing is calling it Plan with Fee. And it's just going to be the setting up and the planning of what I'm going to do on um, on this channel. If that makes sense. So if you want to watch it, you can. If you want to watch a planner, 
try and work work my way through planning um if people aren't interested yep if they are so be it um but i i actually do watch planners and i do get fascinated by them i mean i get sidetracked by what they're doing and looking at the stickers and then going oh so that's that's what's happening now so i've got the planner coming uh i do have obviously i've ordered the just two subscription boxes because um three what the one that there was chocolate and a book i look further into that um so what they provide is a book there's a chalk there's a chop some form of chocolate and there's a drink that goes with it but then i thought i've got to read the book i don't sit and read books <laughs> if i sit on the if i sit on a couch or i sit on bed to read i fall asleep and i don't remember the book so there's no point doing that one so yeah i think the sophie and toffee boxes the smart ass and sass and the japanese stationery are good enough and it just as unboxings and hang on l where's the l i will find it there it is um yeah so that's where i will un un unbox the planner on the channel on this channel but you won't see it again unless you actually go and look at it. Um, if I decide to go ahead with it, I'll, you'll see it on just the planning side of things. So um, that could also be a benefit to you knowing what I'm going to show on the channel and showing that I'm actually putting in the actually putting in the works for a channel where um, gems the gems are watching me. So. Uh, I think you guys deserve more than just me slapping stuff in there now. I think you deserve more than that. There's there's enough now where uh, I should be sharing properly. And planning properly instead of just as I see fit. Um, Sophie and Toffee Box. May Box. Still, no, March Box. Still has not arrived. Um, I can't show you. Uh, <laughs> I do have on order currently, so let's go through what I'm waiting on. So Sophie and Toffee, the March box. I have two packages coming from Treasure Studio Arts. One is a diamond painting, one is just some large drill trays. Then I have Pretty Neat Creative, wherever that one is still to come, which was that replay that, uh, well, supposed to be the proper picture, we'll see um and then i ordered from bonanza marketplace which is advertised on instagram i thought i'd give them a go so that one is still to come now i haven't heard anything about the shipping for that one and i haven't heard anything about the pretty neat creative shipping so the i can see in my postal uh tracker the i can see the two from Treasure Studio Arts. And then there's one, I've got one package that's come from Wuhan. And I don't know whether that was Pretty Neat Creative or Bonanza Marketplace. So, um, yeah, wait and see. But that has actually, that is now classes being in Sydney, which means probably another two weeks before I see it. It's a quick flight over, it's a five hour flight over, but with the restrictions of stuff coming into Western Australia, postal is slow. Postal is very slow. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it, I think. Nothing happening here otherwise. Um, leave me comments. What do you think about a planner? Would you be interested in a channel? Um, yeah just basically playing with stationery um and it's not that it it won't be something that will affect well the only thing it could do is affect the channel is by actually giving me some proper direction on what i should be doing and giving to you guys on a regular basis and uh treating you guys as uh, as you should be treated and looked after um 
Yeah, would you be interested? Oh, that's something. While I was yet again looking at those subscription boxes, I found one. I found one and I've given one as a gift. And hopefully we will get to see it. Uh, it will be a case of, I don't know whether we will or not, but I've sent, sent a gift of a single subscription box to somebody. Let's see if she likes it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Not much more. Everything else is pretty quiet. Still on, obviously, still on leave. Plenty too much time in my hands. And uh, I suppose I better stop yakking so I can uh, get to and start editing and getting video, getting the um, Ursula video up so you can see me work on that one and see how, how it goes. Um, yep, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And... Uh, Leave me a comment, any comments at all, any suggestions that you'd like me like to see me do, <laughs> and uh, obviously hit the hit the uh, subscribe button. Come and be one of the many gems that are, are enjoying these little chats, and um, hit the bell to be notified when I do an upload. I will say bye for now.